What is up, YouTube? It is your boy John here from Puma Plot playing some more Farming Simulator 19. This time, guys, I'm back on Freedom Farms. And I'm using the new Grimmy Potato DLC. Let's get to it. What is up, Twitch? It is your boy. It's your boy. It's your boy. What's poppin', peeps? How y'all doing? Welcome in. Just a reminder to hit up the about page in these socials are right there. Just say and hit me up. Go check out the TikTok, the Instagram, all that good stuff. All the good stuff. Appreciate it. All right, guys, we have the new Grim, Grimmy, Grim, the tiny little potato DLC. Oh, it's going to be something. We'll go through, we'll buy everything. And uh, we'll test out most of the stuff, probably all of it, and just see, see how it is and see what's popping with it, you know? That's what we're going to do. We're going to give it an old the old try today. I am on the server. I am on Freedom Farms. If the normal people want to join, they are welcome. Um, they will, of course, need this potato DLC today. But I don't know that I'm going to leave it on today we'll see probably not probably not this will be one of the dlcs we probably don't use but as they say pitter patter let's get at it you know let's go what's up chat welcome guys all right let's get to this potato dlc and i say potato dlc and i don't mean potato in a bad way I just mean it's the potato deal. It's the potato DLC, you know? That's like what it is, you know? <laughs> Yo, Jesus, what's popping, bro? Welcome back, man. How you doing, bud? You saw my TikTok on the best small streamer? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thanks for the host. Appreciate it. What's the new DLC? It's the Grimmy. The Grimmy DLC. It's going to be really gross, by the way. Just remember, Matt was popping. Z Twitcher, what's up? What's up, guys? Welcome in. <laughs> Taters, they did, buddy. They did. And let's uh, let's just dive right into it. You follow my TikTok? Awesome. I appreciate it guys. Thank you. The the love on TikTok in the past since Thursday has just Oh Grease Monkey, what's popping, bro? The 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 the, the craziness on TikTok since Thursday has just been insane to me. Okay, so here we start. And I'm assuming that these actually make the ridges. Or if you're gonna plant you know, like we've not had this before. We've not had something like this before. So kind of interesting. But. But. Oh, that's, that's kind of cool. I actually really like that's cool looking. I like that. Am I going to use it? No, because there's a bigger one. So you have a 1.5, a 2.5 and a whopping six meter. Okay, this one doesn't have like the baskets on it though. We'll go ahead and buy this. Go ahead and buy this one. Uh guys, I'm gonna assume unless you are really, really, really into potatoes, that this might be a skip DLC. But we're gonna dive into it. I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, now see that has the ridging part too, so we don't want that probably. We're gonna go ahead and buy this. We actually don't have any ground to plant potatoes in right now, but we will. We will make some make some room. Okay, so there's that. And then these bad boys, they dig the potatoes and just chuck them on the ground. I have actually, as weird as this sounds, I've always wanted something like this in real life because we used to grow a lot of potatoes. Okay. Yeah, grease monkey, right? This is all tiny little stuff. So like we actually used to grow a lot of potatoes down at the quote farm. And uh, I always had we always had to dig them by hand with a with a spade. 
So something like this would have been super awesome to have, you know, IRL. And they, they made old little potato diggers like that. So that one is 1.5. This one's also 1.5. But this one has a conveyor on the back that kicks them out to one side or to the other side. Okay. Okay, I wasn't sure. I was looking at this before for a minute. And I wasn't sure what, what the deal was. Yeah, like a little three-point hitch. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what these are. These are three-point hitchers. It would be so cool. Okay, so let's buy that one as well. Tiny little stuff, guys. Tiny little stuff. And then this looks to be the same thing. But it looks like it's going to... I don't know. What does this one do? What does this one do different? This is toe behind. Toe behind, I guess. I don't really know guys I'm, i i mean there's descriptions of everything but what fun is that we'll just figure it out you know i'm just saying uh logging hills i will be doing potatoes today beyond that i don't know probably not uh fire shadow what's popping bro i just i'm i'm gonna try out the dlc today and beyond today i can't um i can't guarantee anything you know I, I, this is all 1.5 meters, you know, people are, were, um, assuming that I would put it on my, my Fenton forest map, this DLC and use it on there today. And I was like, I can't do that because my fields are too big on Fenton forest. The fields are too big here. If we were playing like tiny little, um, little Irish map or something. So. Crazy Uncle on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays I start at noon. But what's popping, bro? How you doing, man? So yeah. <laughs> Grease Monkey. Ah, yeah, Grease Monkey, I got you. I've always wanted one. It would be so nice, yeah. Fixing some lunch fire. Fire, I'm great, man. Thanks for asking. I'm great. But my love for potatoes, uh, Logan Hills, I don't, I don't have one. <laughs> What's up, guys? Howdy. Welcome in, peeps. Oh, I got you crazy. Uncle. So Mondays and Fridays, I guess, are my only days that I start at 6 p.m. Central. Um, and then occasionally throw in a Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, random stream. Those nights happen occasionally, but not, uh, not very often. Uh, or especially for here for a while because, uh, my dad, especially on Tuesday nights, my dad and I watch, uh, that show FBI and FBI most wanted on CBS. And so we're, uh, it's coming back tonight and we're very excited for it. So, yeah. All right. Sean, what's up? Every, you, you know, IRL, anything is better than using like a shovel or a spade. Uh, Z-Switcher, no, we did not get snow, my guy. I actually really like the look of this. Because, you know, you got, you, got a, you got a roof. Now, some might say, oh, this is just a harvester. It's not. If you look, this head here does not dig. This head does not dig. Does that make sense? Okay. The head does not dig. It just picks them up. Ah, oh, we love CBS and, or uh, not CBS. We really like uh, FBI and FBI Most Wanted. We really like them. So if you guys notice the header here, and then if we go back to the in-game one, you'll notice this header digs. So basically what they did is they took this, quote, two-row harvester, Okay, which is 1.8 meters, two rows. And now you got to use, you can use, I guess you don't have to. You got to use one of these three harvesters. And these pile them on the ground. And then you use this thing to pick them up. And then I'm not sure what this guy does. This thing moves around. A, or, it's like a sorter of some kind. I'm not, I'm not sure what that does. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I don't know what that one does. You guys know, let me know, but I have not a clue what that thing does. Uh, and then this one, this is for picking them up. 
Oh, you know what? I bet I know what that's for. I bet that goes underneath this thing. Like you put that up onto here. And then I bet th this thing fills boxes. That's what it does. That thing's going to fill boxes. And like I said, there is descriptions of all these items. I just don't want to take the time. I'm just saying. Yes, we did, Sean. It was actually a really good episode. Really good. Let's put the taters in pallets. Okay, Matt. Thank you. I kind of... After look, I forgot that... It, yeah. This is the new DLC. This is the grimy, grim, grim, grimy. Yep. Hi, you're new here. Welcome in, new person. Welcome on in. I bet you're from TikTok, right? Uh, Killer Duck, welcome on in. How's it going? Uh, Packers, thank you so much for the gift sub to Matt. Much appreciated. You do have... Frank, I bet it's a small Irish map, right? <laughs> okay, did I? I didn't buy one of those. Gotta buy it. Gotta buy it. This is the new DLC, guys. It's the Grim Grimmy Potato. Tiny little potato equipment. And then actually the trailers aren't aren't bad looking. Oh, they have some customization options even. Hot dang. Hot dang. Oh. No, we can't have that. That's that's way too much. Gotta have a cop. Oh yeah, I like the. Oh look at the spout on the back of that thing. Okay, I kind of actually like that. Okay, let's buy that. We're gonna buy them all. Then you got a bigger trailer, basically. That's not actually bad. Thirty-five thousand. Um. I just don't. I can't. I can't do a white trailer. I just. I just can't. Thirty-five thousand liter capacity. I got. I like this. The shoot on the end there. All right, let's finish buying this stuff. Okay, and that's it, because that's a modded. So that's your DLC, you guys. $315,900, you can buy everything in the DLC. <laughs> Actually, no, sorry, I didn't buy everything. Some of the little cultivators I didn't buy. Okie dokie. You know what? I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like our tractors are too big for this stuff. You know? I feel like I might have to get a smaller tractor. Hayden, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Welcome back. Happy to be here. Well, thank you, guys. This is the new DLC, guys. You're looking at it. Pretty much all of it. I didn't quite buy everything. <laughs> I keep saying your name. I'm sorry. Haters. <laughs> Crazy uncle, you, must, you used to work on a farm? Awesome, man. I grew up around a farm. I never, like, really worked on it and stuff. I am going to harvest taters. Give me a minute. Yes, we will be harvesting taters. Alpine Electric? Ooh, that's actually a good idea. Are we running that on here? Are we running that on here? Yes. Wait, how much horsepower does that stuff take? Packers, thank you so much for another gift sub. Holy cow. Much appreciate it, man. Much appreciate it. Packers, thank you, buddy. Uh, Hang on one second. Where is the stuff located? I just want to make sure that like I have enough horsepower. 150 horsepower for that thing? Nine, wait. 150 for that, but only 90? How do I own two of these? I bought two of those by accident. 90 horsepower, okay. Okay. Packers again with another gift sub, my guy. Appreciate it. Uh, this tractor right here is electric. This is part of the Alpine DLC. This is technically an electric tractor. You know what? We're just going to do it for the meme, guys. We'll probably have to buy a different tractor later, but that's okay. Uh, for right now. It's a toy. Look at this thing. It's a golf cart, basically. You know? I take care of the animals. Oh my. Packers coming in with 10 gifted. Uh, as far as joining the server, um, come in, team, so we can get to know us before we let you in the server. 
Packers, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Thanks to that follow that just came through as well. Much appreciate. All right, so we're going to try all these little harvesters, okay? Oh, my God. Okay. That little, poor little track. Actually, here, let's take two to the field. Packers, thank you so much for the 10 gifted, my guy. Much appreciated. Holy cow. You're insane, buddy. You're insane, my guy. <laughs> it's a life-size chatter. It is. Oh, there we go, boys. Now we're... Oh, we can't turn. I legit, like, can't. Okay. Come on. I just want to drive to the field. I just want to drive to the field. All I want to do... Oh, somebody closed the gate on our farm. Where did that? All right, this is definitely a toy tractor. It is not a real tractor. Uh, but we are always looking for more people to join uh, server, but you got to become part of the TeamSpeak community and get to know us. Or wait a couple weeks, maybe maybe a week or two. And uh, we're actually going to have like an open server night where we, uh, like when we get a few more fields and we have a lot of stuff to do, we're going to just open the server up. If you can download a few mods and you have a few DLCs and you're on PC, be welcome to join in uh, a week or two. But we are going to run like an open server night. That makes sense. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Eighteen point turn, of course. What else would I do? I just went through how to join me, so Yep. The lean mean tater machine. That's right. I don't have enough front weight at all with this thing. Why did I buy this tractor again? Who said it? Scroll up. Who who told me to buy this tractor? It was Fire Shadow, wasn't it? Whatever. I got GPS. That's all that matters, boys. Oh, uh, uh, East West. <laughs> okay, lower. Wait. Is it not lower? Um. <laughs> I think it works on this tractor. Wait. Was I not already on the... Maybe I wasn't. Okay. Take two. Holy Hannah Montana, bud. Okay. Um, Alright, crazy uncle, I did see your comment, but um, there were some things in there that we can't have in chat, my guy. Uh, we're not running precision farming on this, uh, on this server. We're running everything right now except for precision and the John Deere cotton DLC. So, yeah. Fire, I'm not mad, bro. It's fine. I'm joking, bro. Is the top? No, I just didn't have it lowered. I was on the wrong implement, Matt. I was on the tractor, not the the thing. How would this work if crop destruction was on? Uh, I would need a tractor with care wheels. Like skinny little tires. And then we'd be good to go. So I'm actually I'm harvesting three rows right now. Uh, to be honest, I'm only going to do like a down and back with each harvester, okay? Or, or I mean, with this harvester. Probably, I, I probably do need to get a slightly bigger tractor. You know? A slightly larger tractor. I'm thinking. Big boy Jake, I'm harvesting potatoes. What's up, bro? How's it going, man? 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm struggling with the tractor, not uh, not course play. You're right. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. What's up? They're not actually there. There they go. Wait, is this thing? Thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? You know, like the unloading sound. I like guess that was kind of coming and going there for a second. Man, one of these would have been so nice to have in real life back when we used to grow taters. Oh man, it would have been so good. I'm just saying, I would have absolutely loved to have one of these back in the day. A welcome in from school. You should probably pay attention to school, my guy. But appreciate you being here. Uh, nobody's in here right now, but I'll I'll get to it. I will get to it. I got to get that other harvester thing to pick them up. But there is why I'm going to need more horsepower, you know. Just saying. We'll get to it. <laughs> I've always I've seen them on uh, like at antique farm days and stuff, and I'm like, man, I'd love to have one. Uh, are we gonna steam these? Possibly. I don't know. We already got uh, a bunch down there to steam, so I don't know if we'll steam these necessarily or not. Whoa, man! We hit the hit the switches in reverse. Holy cow! You barely tap on her and it's flying in reverse. I think this tractor is a little small. <laughs> I'm just saying. So basically all this is, is a digger. All this is doing is digging the potatoes. I guess it's separate. I mean, it's, it, it's digging the potatoes. That's all this is doing. Imagine going across the whole uh, the whole field. Imagine steam engine. Yeah, uh, this is three point hitch, but yeah, totally. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> Sean, pretty much, man. Uh, Matt, I don't know. This is hireable. I'm hired right now. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, this is hired. I don't know if all of it is. I bet all of it's not. I bet the the one that actually picks them up. I bet you can't hire that. This is this is hireable though. So that's good. So I might just go turn him loose in the field. You know, I might just go turn him loose over in the field. Jake, the new DLC is the Grimmy DLC. It's all this little tiny potato equipment. This thing I'm using right now is part of it. Matt, that is something I will check uh, as I go through it all is hiring. Yep, Piper, this is the stream right here, buddy. We're just going to sit and watch him. No, I'm kidding. I mean, we are going to run through all the DLC. It might take a while, you know? Just saying. Yeah. That beverage did not go down the right way. Uh, whatever our next potato, uh, next DLC is going to be, Sean, it's probably going to be tiny equipment that we already have. I'm just saying that seems to be how they run. They do need to make another big equipment DLC. I would love to see that habit. Course play would probably work fine. Uh, I don't have course play on this server, so I can't, I can't test course play, Sean, but it'd probably work fine. Grease monkey, no school today. I got you. 
Uh, I ordered something, y'all. Those of you that watch uh, Millennial are Larson's. I ordered something more as a joke between me and my dad, but I, I ordered some Northern Chill. <laughs> the water they're always on about. I haven't tried it yet. I got beverage in my cup, but I'll, I'll try it in a little while. It was nice and cold when I got here because right out of the UPS truck, you know. But yeah, Northern Chill, I ordered some just, just as a joke. As a joke. Can't wait to try it. Yeah, let's hope so, Sean. Yo, this thing, this... That's too much implement for this tractor. Alright, let's get it. Let's get a, uh... An appropriate size tractor. Actually, we have... No, we don't have one of those. I just need something small. A Puma would work. Let's get a Puma. Puma with GPS and crank up the horsepower. That's going to be way more horsepower than we'll need. Uh, let's buy that. The theory is uh, we have money on this map, so I can kind of do what I want to do. And uh, after today, we'll probably uh, sell all this back off. So, yeah. Wait, did that have beacons? Wait. Okay, this thing's electric. No, no charging required, though. And it does have, oh, it has two beacons. So this is actually to get your potatoes back up out of a building. Is what this is for. Or out of a pile, okay. So that thing's gonna sit over that, I bet. I don't know, man, the electric on here is sick, dude. Yo, I know I knew it in the way we end this map. Yo, does that mirror actually work? Oh yeah, you can actually see where your spout is. Wow, look at look at that. A mirror that actually kind of works. And controls that work. Wait. Those controls don't move. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I'm sitting behind the seat. Um. Um. That's kind of cool. Fair enough. Shut her down. All right, we got to go get more potatoes on the ground, guys. We'll grab, uh, we'll grab the one of these. I bought two of them by accident, but we'll grab one of these two and head to the field. This one, I don't know. This one's gonna make a row right in the center, maybe. Not sure, guys. Did I get the whole pallet? What? Oh, the whole pallet of Northern Chill? No, I got, um, I think it's 16, 16 one liter bottles. I think that's what it is. What is the thing that can windrow the potatoes? What? They all windrow the potatoes, kind of. Spent 700. This is a case farm, though. I have to buy case equipment. Head tater, hover around. Pretty much map. Pretty much Matt. A tater, hover around. And again, we are hired. Okay, so this one goes nine miles an hour. Holy Hannah Montana. And it, it's putting them right in the center. Okay, there was no kind of options, was there? Hang on. Okay, there's no mouse options or anything, so it's literally just start it, lower it. Okay, so this one puts them on the ground like nice and gentle. Okay, so this does have a fold and unfold. Okay, and that's what that is. Okay, and then you lower it, turn on. Okay. So this one's fast. This one's fast, man. Nine miles an hour. That's pretty fast. Guys, I'm good on my tractors right now. Thank you. I'm good. I can pull out all the magnums we have if I really need. Or quad tracks. 
I do have it on a weak tractor. Horsepower wise, though, I think it's well, you know. Let's just look at it this way, guys. It's easier. And if we do buy brand, we can just look at all of it. Um, so the other one is this one right here. Four miles an hour, four miles an hour, and nine miles an hour. So that's the big difference between those. They're all 1.5 meter, but nine miles per hour. That's a huge difference, you know? Huge difference. So it's not really the tratter. It's more of a, uh, yeah. Okay, so I need to get one more uh, going. And I am just going to break out some of our tractors. I'm not going to buy a million little tractors. Tractors. Tractors? You know? We can use these bigger tractors, too. It is basically a potato Roomba, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I bought two of those things, too. Man, I'm really good at buying doubles. Goodness. All right. Taters. Tatering. <laughs> Definitely tatering, guys. Every day I'm tatering. Let's turn around the other way. That's right. So this one has the chute on the back or the conveyor. And you choose when you buy it if you want left or right. So this one's actually going to make like windrows of taters. So yeah, this should be kind of cool. Okay, he turned back that way, which is fine. Doesn't really matter where they go, honestly. And this one's as simple as a lower and turn on. And it is hireable. Now that makes me wonder when he comes back the other way, what's he going to do with those taters? Does he pick them up a second time? You know, that makes me wonder. In fact, I'm going to ride with this guy and make him turn to the left. Cause will he just keep moving taters over? wonder how that works. Man, look at, look at how much harvesting we're getting done though. What's it been? 30 minutes. Wow. Only been out here like 10 though. Look at how much harvesting we're getting done. You don't have a massive field to do or anything. It's fine. It was either plant one and eight or, uh, um, um, eh, no, not going to plant that field. <laughs> That's for sure. That is for sure. I didn't feel like doing that one. That was a little, little much, you know, honestly, this field's way too big for this equipment too. This equipment, I could see it, but it would have to be a small, small Frank Irish map, you know? Frank really likes his Irish maps. And that's what this would have to be as far as I'm concerned. So yeah. Just saying. <laughs> Put a CV harvester on the other end and see who wins 3v1. Uh, I mean... The CV harvester, we have two of them. They hold 60,000 liters. They harvest at 12 miles per hour. Now they're not any wider. They're, they're the same width as the in-game one, but they definitely, uh, go twice as actually, is it twice as speed or is it more? Uh, where's the other one? This one goes, that's 15, six miles an hour. So six miles an hour in the field, we're going 12 and it's the same three meter. It holds 60,000 compared to uh, 9,590 liters. I think the Stevie one would win as long as I kept it empty because it, it uh-huh be a lot of running to keep that thing empty uh Carson and Troy did that a couple weeks ago we harvested this field in potatoes so they were they were busy beavers working on the taters yeah Troy I know Troy stayed in here pretty late that night after stream getting those taters done for us and actually, speaking of the steamer and washer, you guys mentioned it earlier. Uh, I do need to go take care of that. It should all be empty right now. We'll get to that later on. Maybe we'll take these our first load of taters down there from the DLC and uh, steam them up or wash them first and eventually get them in the steamer. That's really a job 
that whole steam wash thing would really be fine if I was just going to sit in fast time at like a 60 maybe. Maybe not all the way to 120, but maybe like a 60. Just sit and fast time and have like four people just to work on that. Everybody did like their own little job. Because between the uh, the fuel and the uh, water, that's almost that's like two people's full time job right there. It's mostly the water, I think. Because you have four points to water, so you could actually run two people. Oh, he's gonna turn that way. Sweet. I want to see what happens with the taters. Does it pick them back up, or or not? I'm thinking it should pick them back up, but also I'm thinking in real life you probably wouldn't go over them a second time would you i don't have any experience in like a an actual potato farm you know we just like grew them and dug them with a spade so okay it is picking them back up no it's not never mind it is not picking them back up so this thing's gonna make a okay just like the other ones a hellacious mess basically okay let's uh Try something else. Let's probably get a tipper out there and then we'll try the other uh, thing. Then I guess we got a pile of them to use the Roomba. Because why not, you know? Just saying. <laughs> uh, holy hell of a mess. That's what we're going to have, guys. Just saying. I kind of do. Oh, yeah. I kind of do like the trailers. I bet they unload really slowly. Because they have that little conveyor belt in the center. I bet they unload very slowly. Planting taters on the old family farm. Awesome. That is actually a map I've never played. Old family farm. All right, need another tractor. This is good. This one's not as big. All right. Uh, you're not allowed to modify DLCs. No. No, not supposed to. Because that's where the whole 3D track thing came from. People modifying the DLCs. Don't think you're supposed to do that. Now, I'm not saying that somebody's not going to, because they probably will. But I don't, can, you know, because if you modify a DLC and, and okay, say, for an example, say I'm going to modify this DLC. And then I post it on a mod website. Then basically you're getting the DLC for free at that point. Because you're not, you know... We do need all the tratters. I'm getting them all out today. I don't care. I'll park them all later. Oh, I've heard of that map for a long time. That map's been around for map's been around for a while, as far as I know. Wait, what is that guy doing over there? Oh, that's the wrong tractor. Okay, never mind. I got, forgot. I got like 18 harvesters running out here. Just three, but you know. So what I'm seeing, personally. Okay, is let's say you put down, you know, you hire, you course play a whole, whole, whole bunch of these harvesters. Okay, and you get your whole field laying down like this. Okay. I would just run it along with the million machine slash snowblower and pick them all up that way. <laughs> way faster, probably. You know what I'm saying? It'd probably be way faster than uh, running this thing. All right, let's turn this on and lower. And then basically, I think we just drive like like a so. And the, oh my God, yeah. Six miles an hour. Now we're picking them up. We're cleaning them. So we're picking them up and we're cleaning them now. We need to get a uh, bar rake out here or like a windrower and rake them up into, more, into big, bigger rows, right? <laughs> so this is where I'm saying I would just use the, the milling machine or the snowblower 
and pick him up like that. Matt, you cannot hire this one. Can't hire this one. Which, I mean, like, you know, like I was saying, this it makes sense not to hire this one in a way because your rows are going to be kind of anywhere. But, again, uh, that would be so fast to use the milling machine, right? Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? Ollie Roberts, what's up? That would be so much faster because this is, and actually look at my capacity. I'm barely going to be able to go anywhere with this thing. Oh my goodness. This thing's crazy. Well, let's get a full load. What I'm, I'll do what I'm thinking here in a minute. I get the stuff out of my eyeball. Something jammed up in there, you know, not good. Um, but yeah, my capacity is awful. Oh, that takes the cover away when you put the pipe out. That's kind of lame. Okay, gi Giants, really? I want the cover. I like the cover. The cover looks good. Nope, you put your pipe out, it gets rid of your cover. Excuse me? You're telling me you couldn't have made that work with the cover? Really? I get that conveyor goes up and kind of hits it, but like... Why did I pay extra money for the cover then? If I can't run it. That was extra money, right? Um, where's that? Twelve hundred dollars for the cover. And if you oh, all they had to do was make it a little shorter. Like just stop it like here. Not bitter, guys, I swear. <laughs> Not bitter. Just confused. There's the difference. Just started gaming. Just what on the online aspect are you struggling with, my guy? What's up? Oh, man. I'm struggling with something in my eyeball. So, I mean, yeah. Online aspect, what are you struggling with as far as what? Are you a PC gamer, console gamer? What are you? You think the covers for when it's in storage? I mean, fair play. You're only on console. I got you, my guy. I don't know. That's kind of weird, though, to have the covers just go poof. You know? Unloads kind of what you expect for potato equipment. Just kind of slow. Not going to lie. You know? All right, so we got one load in, boys. <laughs> this is going to be... This is awful. You can't even make... I mean, this is a big field, of course, but... Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you, my guy. I appreciate it. We're only on console. What do you... What do you... I don't understand what you're struggling with with the online part. That's what I don't understand. You struggle to, like, get some friends online? Because that is definitely a thing. Uh, a lot of people go through... Go through stuff like that, you know? Just saying. Appreciate the follow. Having trouble with lagging. Uh, is your console wired? Are you running on wired or wireless? That's a big thing to know. Get a wind rower? I... You know, that actually, I'm curious if a windrower would actually work. Uh, thanks for that follow as well. Appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? Okay, definitely hardwire. Okay. That's kind of weird. I don't know why you're struggling then. What's your upload and download and like your packet loss and stuff? Do you know? 
speedtest.net's a good uh, good place to let you know all that stuff. Just saying. Good old speedtest.net, you know. Pretty good, pretty handy. When drovers don't work. I would be curious to try. I'm not going to lie. But if you, maybe you already tried it. Did you already try that? Let me know. Because, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of kind of weird, you know. Just saying. Uh, CMB, what's up, bro? It's going, man. Play PS4 wireless. Well, for the most part, if you can wire, wire. Okay? If you can't wire, then, then you can't. And in most applications, wired, wireless, it should be okay. But... For the most part, wire if you can. You're, you're never going to beat, I'm sorry, wireless technology's come a long way and everything. You're never going to beat a wire. Oh, real farms, bail corn, straw. Yes. Not everybody, but yeah. Um, They use it for uh, bedding for animals. So like around me, nobody bails corn fodder. It'd be called fodder, not straw. But um, nobody around me bails garden fodder. Because there's no cows. There's very few cows, I should say. Very, very few cows. What's up, chat? Welcome in, guys. Try hard wire. I would try the wire, personally. I would definitely try the wire. Oh, yeah. Where do I live? I live in the St. Louis, Missouri area. And there's no animals here. Uh, this looks like a new map. This is uh, our multiplayer map. This is Freedom Farms by Stevie. And the only reason I'm playing it today is these fields are a lot smaller than... Uh, my malt or my single player. I can't, I, I just did not want to attempt any field that I have on my single player Fenton forest, uh, with this potato stuff. So yeah, this is technically our multiplayer, our multiplayer map freedom farms by Stevie. It's a good one. Let me tell you, it's a good map. Kind of different, kind of weird, but it's kind of good at the same time. I'm just saying I'm a fan. All right. So this, this part is going to be brutal. This is going to be the worst, worst part. So what I don't understand is if you're going to run this thing, why not just run this one? Because this is the in game one. And you know what? I'm wondering if I actually should be topping them first. Do you guys think I should top them before I run those harvesters over them? I probably should, right? I bet I should. I'm not because I didn't think about it. Like, one wasn't in the DLC. But I forgot there's a potato topper. Somebody come get her. Whoa. Whoa. Not going to finish that one. Jeez. <laughs> what's wrong with that? Wait, let's put it down again so we can get our cover. Hey, it looks so much better with the cover, no? I kind of like it. Do you guys think I should be topping them first? Because you'd probably want to top them before you ran them through the that style of harvester, right? But I don't know. Like I said, I don't have any uh, experience around this potato equipment. It's not really a thing. Uh, not a thing where I'm at at all. We don't grow any root crops around here. IRL, you would think. Okay. 
I mean, obviously it doesn't matter to the DLC because like I'm using the stuff and it doesn't seem to matter. So I want to fill one trailer load, by the way. I'm just curious how long it's going to take me, you know? IRL, we would talk. Okay. That makes sense. Because you wouldn't want those tops going through those harvesters, right? I'm on PC. I am a PC gamer. I do have Xbox One. Uh, but I will I will not be getting the next gen console. I don't. I don't play it enough to justify purchasing another Xbox. So. Yeah. Kind of like I thought about getting a Wii for a while, and then I was like, you know, I'm not going to play it. So why? Or not a Wii. Wait, is that what it's called? A Wii? You know what I mean? Yeah. The, is that what it's even called? I don't even... Nintendo Switch. Jesus. <laughs> Nintendo Switch. I thought about getting a Switch, and then I was just like, you know, I'm not going to play it. How much can the trailer hold? Uh, give me one second. You're playing on PC. I'm on PC, guys. PC, PC, PC. Uh, the trailer can hold. Go find it. This trailer can hold, what is it? 35,000. There's also a 19,000 liter one as well. This is the 35 right here. So 35,000 is not bad not great but it's not bad bought the switch for 400 and never touched it exactly that was my thing i'm like i'm gonna i'm gonna play this and then i really thought about it i was like you know what i'd be better just to sit on my money and and not waste it on a piece of plastic okay after i fill up this one we'll go to the other harvester yeah You cannot cross play on farm sim. Nope. Nope. Apparently I have a new driver available. Oops. Have to download that later. You play them all, Ollie? Holy cow. I just, uh, I just find myself just playing PC more and more and more instead of like the consoles. I'm not going to play No Man's Land, especially on Xbox. Nope. I cannot stand, and, and a lot of people disagree with me, but I cannot stand the frame rate that console farm sim runs at. It runs at maybe 20 frames for me, I feel like. I just, I can't handle it. I can't handle less than 30 anymore. I just can't do it. It hurts my brain. And uh, a lot of people say I'm all oh, your PC. Yeah, I am. What's it to you? <laughs> you know, I am now. Okay, so that one should be the same as that. Yeah, those are basically the same harvesters. This is the one. Or wait. That's the fast harvester. This is the one that's windrowing it kind of weird. Or should be anyway. But he's not really doing anything, if you notice. He's just kind of throwing it. Well, we can get both of those, I guess. Kind of, so we're going to fill up twice as fast now, it looks like. That's all. So he's throwing it to the side, but I don't know what's the point of that, because... Uh, you know? I don't know what the point is. So, yeah. Maybe if you were to run like that harvester and then run this one that's over here on like each side of it and you could make like a triple, a triple pass, basically. I don't know, man. I don't know. This, this new equipment is kind of weird. Kind of like a windrower. Uh, kind of, but not. Yeah. Basically the, uh. Uh, doodads are, are harvesting and laying it back on the field. 
Which is, I mean, that's how they harvest potatoes in some places. And then you got to come along and pick them up right away. You know? I don't know. This is very weird to me, though. Because the R, R, I actually need that guy to switch sides right now. If he were to throw the taters this way, it would make more sense to me now. You know? How do you get more cars? What? What? What about cars? Hold two to three of them into one row. You talking about the electric conveyor belt thing? Cause that thing's not meant to go in a field. That's meant for in a building. Just saying. What's up guys? Welcome in. Thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? Welcome on in. So all this time guys, and we are just barely, we're still not full at 34,000 all this time of picking up potatoes, guys. This is something I'm telling you the snowblower is the, the way to go. The milling machine snowblower. That is by far the way to go. I'm telling you. All right, let's run down. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, bro, that actually scared me. Why did that scare me? <laughs> yeah, but it works. Okay. I bet that looks real goofy though. Just saying. But it looks real goofy. God, that actually scared me, bro. I saw those biddies, my guy. All right. Oh, bro. Tractors, thank you, buddy. Uh, if you guys are looking for the socials, there you go. Hit up the YouTube, both of them. Uh, the, the main YouTube channel. The first one, just Puma Plow there. I post some edited content there. I post my Let's Play on there. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, monthly clip videos from Twitch. The highlights, they get posted there as well. And then the second channel, I post just the uh, the streams. Those are, it's the stream archive, basically. So all the past broadcaster um, are there since... Not, not ever, but like for a while now. So I used to post them on the main channel and then I kind of moved them to the second channel. And no, I didn't take all the ones from the first channel and move them to the second channel. That's way too much work. Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? And I actually don't keep my uh, past broadcast anymore. I used to, I was used to be in this habit where I literally kept everything. And then I was like filling up all these four terabyte hard drives. And, and then I was like, you know what? What's the point? So I keep all of my content I make from the farm, but I do not keep uh, like this kind of content. It'll get deleted in like, uh, oh, probably three, four months. So it's just too much content. Too many gigs, you know? Uh, I do occasionally still do the on the farm videos, Young. Yes, I do. I uh, actually had three in a row. Um, see, the whole struggle for me with the On the Farm series is like... Let's be honest. We do the same thing down there every year. You know? We do the same thing every year. And so it's like, hey, let's make a video about cutting grass for the first time in the spring. Uh, I'll be streaming until 5 p.m. Central or maybe a few minutes after, but around 5 p.m. Central is when I, I stop on the Tuesdays and Thursdays day streams. So, you know, with, with the on the farm series, it's like, Hey, we're cutting grass again. Hey, we're going to plant potatoes again or not, not anymore, but like, Hey, we're going to plant pumpkins. You guys saw this last year, but let's plant them again this year. And then it's like, Hey, we're going to spray the pumpkins. Hey, I'm going to go mow the highway again. So it's we're doing, we do so much of the same stuff. And that's the problem with the, on the farm series. So when I have something that is new or different or exciting, 
that's when I make a video. So I recently, or last, uh, in December, I think it was, I bought a cultivator. Hey, I'm just going to dump these right here, by the way. I bought a cultivator, a field cultivator for using in our garden. So we've been, I made three videos about that. Uh, the next video I have, I need to actually edit it. Like, uh, whenever I get time, it's about like, what do I do with my Christmas lights and where do I store them and stuff? And, uh, I've never made a video about that. So I do still make the on the farm series. It's just not as regular as, uh, some people would probably want it to be, you know? So, but I do still make it and it comes out on Sundays when it's going to come out. Uh, maybe one this week, but probably not. No, I actually edit those. Don't give me that Wii emote. I edit those. Download or upload of 12 down to 40. That's not bad. Are you having uh drop like packets like packet loss? If you run a speed test, um, it'll tell you your packet loss too, I believe. Hello from Germany. Welcome in Germany. All right. So guys, this is how I would pick up the potatoes. If I was going to run this, I just got to find it. I don't know where it's at. There they are. This is how I would do it. If I were doing this, I'm just saying, I know this is not DLC and we're here, you know, showing off the DLC today, but if I was going to be a king for the day, this is how I would pick up the taters. Probably not with this trailer either, but why do I have chaff in this thing? I got to empty this thing. This thing has chaff in it. Where's my semis? Combines, tractors, not semis, not semis. Where are the semis at on this map? Oh, they're probably back there. I don't actually know where they got parked. I haven't really been in here since, uh, yeah, nobody's been in here since Saturday, but I wasn't in here when they were parking stuff. Yeah. Like I said, you probably have some, uh, drop packets with your, um, uh, you know, the only thing I can guess. Do, 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 do. Let's actually put it in that auger wagon right next to me. Take the cover off. Will it not go in there? Probably my other trailer is too close, huh? Let it go. There we go. We got it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Huh? Oh, I could have just put the cover on this thing like that. Huh? That cover looks good. I like the cover. I like the cover. Uh, right now, this is all about potatoes, um, not pigs. Just saying, I don't think we have everything to feed them yet. So yeah. At least you got somewhere to start. I got you, man. All right. So. Turn it on. Unfolded, apparently. This is how I would harvest potatoes, personally. Or pick them up, anyway. It's not working. Is it the trailer? Wait. Wait. Why? I don't think it likes the trailer. I don't think it likes that trailer and we don't have another trailer. You know what? I got this. Watch this guys. He doesn't like that trailer. I bet you. 
It should totally be dumping in or hitting that trailer. This here snowblower doesn't like that trailer. Uh, thanks to those biddies, by the way. Appreciate it, my guy. Thank you, thank you. All right, go back to the homestead here and get something else. Get something else. I mean, at least we got one trailer load of potatoes, you know? I kind of want to get two, though. I kind of want to get two. That thing will probably work. This thing would be a little more accurate. Be a lot more accurate, you know? I was going to put them into an auger wagon. Now that we have that auger wagon that holds everything. Because, yeah, that'll dump them right into there. Okay, we're good. So that would do something like this. If I were actually doing this with, with those harvesters, I'd use something like this, you know? Something like this. So, I mean, this wouldn't be a terrible way to go out of harvest. You would just have to have a lot. I feel like you'd have to have a lot of harvesters running. I mean, we have three running. We're making decent progress, you know, realistically. So, set our crews on about 10. 10 might be too fast. Seems like once you get it going, it seems to work better. There we go. So, I mean, I know it's really annoying because it's flashing, but this is probably how I would do it. I feel like doing it this way, I mean, A, I'm getting two rows at a time and I'm going to be way faster than the little, the little other harvester doodad. And this, this trailer I have has pretty decent capacity too. So I could probably go faster to be honest. Solid 16 miles an hour. 20. So, I mean, I could pick up taters way fast, you know? If I were actually going to do it, this is how I would do it. Actually, I'm getting three rows at times. So. Yeah. This would be a good way to do it. What's up, guys? Welcome in. Welcome in. Much appreciate it. How you guys doing? We're just harvesting taters with this new DLC. And I've given up on picking them up with... I mean, not given up entirely, but... There we go. Three passes. Uh, but the thing to actually pick them up is going to be really tiny. And really, really... Carson? Terrible. Really terrible. Yo, yo, what up? Yee, yee. What's poppin', bro? Welcome in. What is poppin', guys? Welcome in. So, I mean, this is working, but like... What's wrong with just running a regular harvester? <laughs> the big one, you know? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man and just like that we're 98 percent full come over here and just unload just saying i know this is a big field to kind of demonstrate all this equipment on but what i have my day is good guys my day was actually kind of frustrating now i'm gonna come clean about something all right zach I feel like I need to address Zach's comment. Right before stream, guys, I was trying to buy the DLC. And for some reason, my Steam was like locking up and saying that I had a transaction pending. Okay. It was saying that I had a transaction pending. And it was not allowing me to purchase the DLC. 
So, but my thought process was, was go ahead and post in a group chat that um that we have. We have a group chat for some of us that in, are in team speak and hang out all the time. Okay. So I was like, Hey, and the other, it's honestly, all the people in that group chat, I trust, you know, most of them are going to know where I live and like all that, you know, they're like the inner circle, you know, they're like the trusted, the chosen ones, shall we say, right? Basically good friends with all of them. And so I posted in there and I said, Hey, I'm having the problem with steam. Can one of you guys send me the DLC and I'll get you back after stream. Like I'll, I'll, you know, I'll take care of you. Okay. And, uh, basically Zach started calling me a sellout and that, you know, I'm a sellout and it's like, I'm not a sellout. I'm just asking for you guys to help me out, you know, and, and I will say Leonard jumped on it right away. Leonard was there, man. He was going to send it to me. And then my steam was like, Oh, Hey, you bought a DLC. Congratulations. So I ended up not needing help, but Oh, Carson. Okay. I actually didn't know what the color thing was for you. And like, I cannot hardly read your name, but you know, it's good. Yeah. The Kobe one year. Is that today? One year ago, man. Where were you at a year ago, chat? I know where I was up at my farm. We were at the farm when we found out about the Kobe Bryant thing. That's where we were at. All right. So basically Zach was calling me a sellout because I'm asking for money and stuff. And I was not, I was asking for people to help me out with the DLC because steam was being dumb. And then like, you know, I was going to take care of whoever got it for me. Don't you worry about that, you know? I know, Tony, but I feel like I need to explain myself to stream so people don't think I'm actually like, you know? Today, four hours ago, I got you. I got you. Thanks for that follow. Appreciate you guys. Welcome in. How's it going? You were frying sausage. Zach, it was a sausage supper. Yeah. I remember that before the Rona. Before Rona, big time hit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's right, Tony. You were frying frying sausage in a in a crap spreader. Yep. Thanks for that follow as well. Appreciate you guys. Welcome to the flock. How y'all doing? Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. And another one. Is TikTok blowing up again? What's going on, chat? Where are you guys from? <laughs> All right, Zach. I, okay. You coming in, Tony? Thought you were coming in. By the way, big shout out to Leonard again for, for offering to help me out earlier with the DLC thing. Appreciate you, Leonard. You're not here from TikTok, Leonard, and you know it. <laughs> wow, Zach. Yeah, so they took like a manure spreader and like had some welding shop years ago, Matt, make it into like a big sausage deep fryer cooker thing. So your aunt died because of COVID. I'm very sorry to hear that, my guy. Very sorry to hear that. I wish people would take this whole COVID thing a lot more serious than people are doing, you know? My whole family's had it. Just saying. Yeah. My grandpa actually years ago was big in the church down in the, by the farm. And he like had commissioned these big sausage cooking vats. Yeah. All right, Carson, we'll catch you in like an hour or whatever, my guy. Don't, uh, don't punch any walls or anything. Cause you hate the place, you know, just saying we'll catch you. Carson, have a good one. As good as it can be, you know? I do play other games. Um, my big uh, second game right now is um, 
uh, Rust. I've been really addicted to Rust lately. Farm Sim is my main, I would say. Uh, Rust, ATS, um, what's that other game? Snow Runner, that kind of stuff, you know? You had it over the holidays? I did too, actually. I got I got sick uh, Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. It was terrible. Just saying, it was terrible, yeah. All right, Carson, we'll catch you, bro. Half tutor at two. Okay, Tony. All righty. Been lurking in chat a few days. Been lurking in chat a few days. Just gave, uh, decided to give me a follow. I appreciate you, man. That's actually kind of cool. You've been lurking in chat for a couple days. That way you can really like tell if you like it here, right? I like it. Uh, Tratters, thanks for the, uh, for the biddies again. My guy, appreciate him. Uh, next scheduled stream for Rust is probably going to be Friday, Jarhead. I will say, actually, let's see. I don't know if we'll do something tomorrow or Thursday night. If I do something either tomorrow or Thursday night, it'll be Rust. I got to fix the wiring out at Phil's house. It doesn't work at all. The wiring at Phil's house does not work at all, guys. Like, not even a little bit. Dawson, thanks for the bits, bro. Not even a little bit, guys. Hostile work environment. Tony, get out of here. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. And I actually watched some videos, and uh, I watched a video this morning, and I learned a lot. We are not inputting enough electricity into the batteries at Phil's. And uh, therefore, they're never going to charge. So, yeah, I, I learned a lot about how batteries work. And if you run a, like a, a branch or a root combiner right off a of battery. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting nerd talk going now, you know. <laughs> Yeah, Jarhead, we did, but what we wired up actually does not work. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically, because we're running a branch, I think it's because we're running a branch off of the batteries, the batteries are constantly using power, and we're actually not inputting enough power to charge them, so... It was kind of a whole thing, but yeah, that's what we were working on last night. We just, it just doesn't work. We will need, Phil's going to need a lot more power, basically. And I think we're going to change the way the batteries are, too. Everything, everything works, so we just can't charge the batteries. If that makes sense. <laughs> it's not Sean. <laughs> All right, so back to the DLC, huh? So we've got a lot of potatoes piled up there now, guys. We need to put them in the bins. Okay, I'm going to get a forky. Because why not? We're going to do it. We're going to do it right. Actually, I guess I need some kind of... Let's let's see what they come out as first. Let's see how they come out here. Wait, wasn't there a... Um, Am I mistaken here? Wasn't there a, um, I guess there wasn't. Hey, I have the DLC pulled up over here. I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah. Where's that thing at? Is that a placeable? Where, where is that thing? What would that even be under? feel like I'm missing something. I don't know where it's at. Not a decoration. Where is the thing at? Miscellaneous maybe? No, it's in. Okay, wait, hang on. It's in here. This is also part of the DLC. Okay. This thing right here. We don't, we don't have this yet. Ooh, I like the yellow belt. 
a little bright. We'll go with the dark one. So I don't know what, what this thing's good for either. So yeah. Looks like we'll have to move that around with the forklift too, maybe? I'm not sure. Okay. Let me get back where I can see chat. I can't see you guys right now. I can't see you. <laughs> we don't have animals on this map yet, but we will be getting pigs on this map. We have decided pigs will be our animal for this map. All right. Probably should pick it up from the side, huh? So I think this would be like, I would dump. That's probably what this is for, right? You dump from the trailer into this and then into conveyor belts to like store. Or does this take it up into that thing? This probably, oh, that's what this does. Okay. That's right, 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 right. From the ground, this doesn't go from the ground, no. From the trailer to a conveyor belt. From thing I just bought to the belt. Oh no! Oh no! Now it's all going wrong. So if we put this thing like, like, Oh, Hannah Montana. Come on. Not what I wanted, guys. Oh, any animals in IRL? No. Used to have a dog. I'm on, um, uh, Fenton, or sorry, Freedom Farms by Stevie. My bad. Wrong map. Like thing thing. Uh oh, you guys asking for the flex cam? You guys want the flex cam? All right, there's totally pallet uh, things there, but my forks aren't wide enough. My forks aren't wide enough to go in there. Okay, how am I supposed to pick the thing up? My forks can't even go in there. Chat. What? Might need a different forklift. Just gotta drive like a granny. I haven't seen this one yet. Gotcha. Good map. I'm streaming till 5 p.m. Central. 5 p.m. Central. The liquid ammo was popping, bro. I don't, there's no wheels on it, Sean. There is a display there. Oh, I bet I'm supposed to come from this side because there's like less crap in the way. But hang on, let me try that. Thanks for the host. Wait, what's up, man? Farmer Nick, what's popping? I don't supposed to come from this side. Good thing Phil's not here. This would kill him. He's a forklift driver in real life. Oh, look how much better it picks right up, guys. Oh, brother. So we're thinking like this, right? Right?
Okay, I can get in it. I can't. Okay, does that mean is it ready now? Are we ready for taters? Come on, Roomba, let's go. Roomba, Roomba, Tater Roomba, Roomba, Roomba. Tater Roomba, Roomba, Roomba. Feeling like an icicle, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Roomba, you're getting a little out of hand here, buddy. Roomba, Roomba, don't you wanna? Roomba, Roomba. Probably should have set up Roomba first and then the other stuff to it, right? Oh no, Roomba's stuck. I think I need to set up Roomba and then the other stuff behind it. I think that's the strat. I think I need to move the other stuff, guys. So just imagine I was in a building. That's that's really what this stuff's for, right? I don't even know, I think. I think. Why does it sound like that? I don't know. Been piling snow for three hours. Oh my god. Holy cow, liquid ammo. That's cold, bro. That's cold. All right. Just move this over here. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. It's the guy that totally knows how to run a forklift. Thanks for that follow, by the way. Appreciate you. Welcome to the flock. How's it going? Welcome on in. That is cold liquid ammo. Holy cow, Farmer Nick. I feel like Roomba Roomba needs to expand quite a bit, you know? Roomba should, should have some uh, expansion capabilities, right? Oh my goodness. Come on. That'll work. Guys, I'm a professional, professional forklift driver. Do you guys know that? No TikTok while plowing snow, Farmer Neck. What are you doing? Forklifts are easy in real life to drive and operate, yeah. I have driven a forklift, an actual forklift, one or two times as well. Uh, where my dad works, they have them, have a forklift. In the game, they kind of suck, but in real life, they're not bad. But it does get longer, okay. It's taller too. 